All right. So I'm Wei. I'm gonna talk a little bit about Ribbon. So uh, Ribbon is a Ribbon is a pretty new company, but uh, really gonna focus on on this topic about how to break through in a, a hot market. And uh, we'll get into a second why why real estate is a hot market. But a little bit about me. I hate to talk about basketball again, but um, so I grew up in Singapore uh, and spent a couple years in Jersey, but for the most part, born and raised in Singapore. Came back to the U.S. Uh, went to this school that's going to win the national championship this year. Uh, <laughs> that's the end of the talk. Uh, and then I, I was uh, I moved out to the Bay Area, joined this advertising technology company, machine learning company called Telepart. Um, and then four years later, Twitter, Twitter acquired Telepart. I think still Twitter's biggest acquisition to date. We took over the Twitter advertising team and. Uh, and at that point, I moved to uh, moved from uh, the the west coast to the the best coast on the east coast, uh, and uh, for my my lovely wife Joyce over there, and um, and then I left uh, I left Twitter shortly after, met my co-founder, and then we we started Ribbon. I'm not really going to talk about the founding story just yet, but at a high level, what Ribbon does is that we give you the freedom to buy before you sell. Now, if you're not trying to sell a home, it's not going to make any sense to you, and that's intentional. But if you're that homeowner who is trying to sell before you can buy that next home, because you know, like the average American, you cannot afford two homes that they, you can't afford two mortgages at the exact same time, then you're stuck in this cash 22. What do you do? Do you list your home and then scramble to find the next home and then settle for the home you don't love for seven years? Do you take a bridge loan at a 15% uh, interest rate? Maybe the folks here can find a better interest rate for that. Um, but but you're stuck in this cash 22, right? So how do you how do you buy? And so Ribbon, what Ribbon does is essentially we relieve that time pressure entirely. We buy that new home for you first, so that. You now you move into that new home and you have all the time in the world, well, literally 180 days to go fix up your previous home and then sell it at maximum price. Right. Why does this matter? It's because the average American is, who owns a home is uh, cash poor, but they have a lot of equity built up in that home. So um, the, the alternatives here, and we'll get into that in a second, but the alternatives here are that you fire sale your previous home, and if you take a 15% discount there for a guaranteed offer, it's actually more like a 40% discount on your, sorry, a 40% hit to your equity in that home. And for a lot of the customers, that's the majority of their net worth. So Ruben buys their new home first, they move in, and now they have all the time to sell their previous home at, at maximum value. And uh, so we've, we launched in, uh, in uh, mid last year, we were founded in 2017. Um, last year, we raised a, a big fund. We, we raised a big funding round, uh, 225 million, combination of, of debt and equity, um, and uh, have a bunch of folks from uh, the best fintech, uh, Bain Capital, um, the founder of Trulia NFX, and a couple more folks uh, uh, invest in this round. So, getting into the, uh, the actual fun part here. So this is a. Uh, <laughs> The theme. All the all the credit here goes to our designer for for coming up with this theme. But uh, the idea is like, how do you how to break through in a hot market? And uh, why why is why do I say the market is hot? So Zillow, public company, literally, as I was making this deck a couple of weeks ago, changed CEOs just to go after this this problem in the market. Right, You're really getting into the transaction there. Uh, Open door. I had to change this number from one to one point three yesterday. Right. Um, Purple bricks, public company in the UK, expanding the US, and then Offerpad, which which is an open door competitor, also raised close to a billion, billion dollars. So very well funded. Um, all these folks started significantly earlier than Ribbon. So uh, who in their right mind would, would join the fray? And the answer is no one, because we, weren't in their, we were not in our right mind. Uh, and so we, we started Ribbon in 2017. And you know, to be com completely honest, we're not like, oh, market's hot, let's, let's jump in. We really wanted to, to solve a problem that we saw in the market. Like, and the problem that we saw was basically that since the housing crisis, there has been this rise of Wall Street owning the single family homes across the US. And, um, and we saw that this is basically, we felt that this was a, a scary trend. So we really dug into the stats. And so we found, the first number we found was that 35% of all homes in the US are bought with cash. Right. So 35%, and most of that is driven by investors. Some of that, the Wall Street, the Blackstones, Invitation Homes, American Homes for Rent, et cetera. And a lot of that, the, the mom and pop local investors as well. So, that was the first number. And then if you dig into, into Charlotte, uh, which is our first market, um, SunTrust, BB&T, anybody? Um, <laughs> so Charlotte, if you look at the starter home price range, right, $250,000 and below, it's actually 60% of all homes are bought with cash, 
when a home goes on the market in Charlotte, it gets 20, within 24 hours, it often gets on the order of um, three to 10 offers, and about half of those are cash. And that's because buying homes has become this high frequency trading investor machine where Blackstone's fund invitation homes will have an end, like they'll spit out a report and those analysts will say check, and then they'll go make a cash offer in the home the next day. So on the other side of it, you have the uh, FHA home buyer buying their first ever home. Right. It takes 90 days to close, lots of things can fall apart. And on the other side, if you're the seller and you have Blackstone who can close next week and the FHA buyer who's going to close, maybe close in 90 days, right? you're going you're gonna to choose the cash offer. And so that was, a, that was the problem we saw in the market and we felt that, that the, the playing field for buying homes was no longer fair. Uh, and we really started Ribbon with the, with the, with the uh, idea of making home ownership achievable. So that's, a, that's the founding story, that's, the, that's why we jumped into the fray uh, head first. Um, and without not in our, our right minds. But uh, let's get to the, the actual how to break through in a hot market, right? So this is a credit to our investors, NFX. So James Curry at NFX, he has this, he says that uh, you need to find your, the white hot center of the market, right? Um, the nice thing about the market being hot in the first place and the billion dollars of funding coming in means that something is working, right? So you have to, so that, that's a, I wouldn't say it's a clue, it's like a pretty obvious sign that something in that market is working. The demand is there, the problem is there, but you have to, you have to find it. And sometimes it's not super obvious. And so for us, we started with this messaging, right? Win with a cash offer. Right. And that was the, the way to level the playing field. Empower the everyday buyer with the cash offer, the first time home buyer with the, every, with the cash offer so that they can compete effectively against Blackstone. So anyone here from Blackstone? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so we, we actually soon realized this was not the white hot center. This is the white hot center, right? This is, um, and so the white hot center is the move up buyer, what we call the move up buyer, which is someone who needs to sell their current home before they can buy the next home. Right. Uh, and we changed our messaging to the, the freedom to buy before you sell. Uh, and that, that change alone, just changing that, that messaging, how we talk to, how we talk to the market, um, significantly affected our growth trajectory. Right? Um, and the, the clues here are that, well, over time we realized most of our customers were, were actually trying to sell their previous home. So that was the most obvious clue. But even before entering the market, if you look at it and you look at like who's succeeding and who's not, uh, or sorry, not more like where is the who, who's taking off like a rocket ship and then who's kind of still finding their way, and so the open doors, the offer pads of the world, the i buyers taking off like absolute rocket ships, right? In a matter of years, have built multi-billion-dollar companies. The tech-enabled lenders, and um, you know, we uh, we're friends. Uh, so so Rex was at Cindio, and he provide, gave us a lot of advice when when we started Ribbon, and basically kind of talked through like it's it's hard to break through as a tech enabled mortgage it's hard to break through as trying to just compete with cash because the problem is actually here on this move up buyer and how does open door solve that they solve that because you can basically sell your home online to them right so which brings me to the the next lesson which is uh, approach that same problem that that white hot center from a from a different angle from the from everyone else and uh, you know this is this is probably pretty obvious but uh, if you have if you're starting a company today and they have a billion dollars, you don't want to, uh, to attack it head on. So how did we do this? So everyone else in the market for real estate, right? They see agents, real estate agents is a problem. 5%, 6%, too much, too much of my house is being lost to real estate agents, right? And they went straight after the real estate agent's fee. And so we had, a, we had a different point of view. We felt like agents actually provide about a lot of value. Um, the market will, will shake out to their fee to what it deserves to be over the long term. But people are buying the most expensive things of their lives. People buy a home once every seven years, right? Uh, agents provide that local market expertise, that human touch that, that folks need to buy. We saw the capital markets as the problem, right? So Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, and we've, we've talked to a lot of folks there, right? When they change a rule for their lending, it takes, um, it takes 15 to 30 years to really see the downstream effects there. And so they can't change stuff willy-nilly. And in fact, they have gotten tighter, as they should have after the financial crisis. So lending has actually gotten, gotten tighter here. But it means that there's two things, right? It means that, one, you can't compete with cash. So it, when, I, when you explain a ribbon, when you explain this cash offer to someone who's never uh, encountered this market of uh, going up against cash offers before, a home buyer is often like, wait, isn't the seller getting paid cash closing? Like, what's, what's, what's the difference? What's the point? And the fact that that is different when you have to fund a mortgage versus a cash offer um, is, is one of the, the issues right now. But the even bigger one is the fact that if you need to sell before you buy, 
there is no kind of mortgage that will allow you to buy your next home because your debt to income ratio will be too high. So what happens if you're moving? You really have to time those two things perfectly. So that's what we saw as the problem. And um, okay, I know this is not judo, but I had to, I had to, I had to show this. I know it's not judo. I know. Sorry, I have to say that for the camera. Um, and so, so what do we do? Why we call this the judo move is is how do you use the, the power of the market against itself? So all the billions of dollars coming in to fund the disruptors, right? What new opportunity does that create? Uh, and this is, uh, this is probably the, the single biggest thing that helped us break through uh, in the market, which was that if billions of dollars are funding disruptors, someone is getting disrupted. And that someone getting disrupted in this case was the real estate agents. And when we founded Ribbon, we've always had the point of view that like agents were not the problem. We want to partner with agents. And so the folks who are disrupted now have this killer pain point. And there is no greater, greater motivator to adopt a new technology, to, to trust something new than existential threat to your business, right? And so, um, <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell a, a kind of quick vignette here. Basically, Ribbon, um, we piloted in Charlotte last year in uh, February, right? So we hit the ground, went to talk to realtors. Um, and getting any, any startup off the ground is hard. But you know, we got a couple of deals done, but it was, it was hard going. Like convincing a realtor like, that this made sense, that they need to use us, right? And so we got a couple deals going. Uh, we launched in, in May or so. And about that time, Open Door, OfferPad, and Knock came into town, right? And their funding means that they can market to everyone. And so they, they market. Uh, the marketing to the consumers is clear, but the realtors also see that, and the, the message is pretty clear that you don't need a realtor, right? And so at that point, that is, that is really an inflection point, a turning point for Ribbon, where then off the backs of that, we struck up an original partnership with Remax, um, and after that, um, with Alan Tate, which is the biggest in the Carolinas, right? So basically, we had gone from having to cold call realtors to the local brokerage CEOs making videos about Ribbon, not commissioned at all, um, kind of posting to their teams internally, and that's a it was a it was a dramatic change that was that's pretty hard to. Uh, to overstate. So this kind of key, key last point around using the market against itself was, I think, one of the, the key lessons that, that we took away um, from having grown Ribbon in the last year. And, 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 it's, and it's, it's worked. There's a, lot, there's a lot more to go. And obviously, you know, this, no, having no axes here doesn't, means the, the graph doesn't really mean anything. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, the, the, the inflection points are created by things like using the market against itself, right? Uh, or things like finding the actual customer in your market and the white hot center. And off the backs of that, you know, we've, we've had a lot of initial, initial success being able to raise the A round and really um, kind of expanding across, um, across the US right now. So, um, so <laughs> to recap real quick, uh, breaking through in a hot market. First one, hot market means there's a white hot center. Find it as soon as you can. Um, find a different angle from how all the uh, billions of dollars, all the well-funded competitors are, are going at it. And uh, to the extent you can, use that weight in the market against itself to, uh, to find a way to break through. Right. Thank you.